stations and as you can see the model is not only very accurate it's a working train layout it shows Copenhagen fields as they were 60 years ago in 1929 and those were the wonderful days most people think of steam and that's why the tunnel here that you can see is all black because of the locomotives puffing in and out hauling trains that went all the way to Edinburgh of the East Coastline the Model Railway Club of London have chosen one of the smallest model railway gauges called N-Gauge for this layout. Now this is a piece of double O gauge from our Blue Peter layout. And if I just hold this next to the N-Gauge you can see how much smaller than double O the N-Gauge is. Now there are six separate trains whizzing around the multiple tracks here. What have we got coming down? We've got oh a very nice luxury Pullman train going down. This went up and down the country and just the very richest people could uh, afford to travel on this. It was definitely the best way to travel. And then coming up, we've got another train coming up with lots of um, work wagons on it. And a, that's an earlier train used for people to travel up and down the country with the old wooden carriages. And that's the Flying Scotsman coming through. There it goes. Oh, real luxury. Way into the tunnel there. Now, the layout's so realistic that even the minute signals work. Just press this button. See it going up and down, the middle one? And in that position there, that means that local trains are expected on that line. And then this switchboard controls the down lines, and those are trains moving out of King's Cross. And if I just turn it, here comes the famous Silver Fox, the streamlined A4 Pacific, and one of several very advanced locos of the 1930s. Locos on the track today look very different, but they use the same tunnels, although a concrete flyover section has been added if you look at the embankment today. In fact, it's the buildings and not the railway that are the truly remarkable things about this amazingly detailed layout. All these tiny shops are correct in every detail, except that the model makers have made little adjustments. For instance, can you see this dentist called T. Watson? Well, there wasn't a dentist of that name, but there is a Mr. T. Watson who was one of the model makers, and yes, he's a dentist. And then further along the street today, there's a smart warehouse, and that's been standing there for over 100 years. And this isn't just a train layout, the trams move as well. And we should be able to see one just moving down. Of course, they no longer run on the real Caledonian road. Now, this tram doesn't have a motor. It's worked by a moving magnet under its mini rail slots. Isn't it marvellous? Really realistic. Now, the real tube station's hardly changed since it was built in 1906. But the model station hides a secret, because as we go down, you can see that there's a real working tube line. Everybody's on board, the doors have slammed shut, as they do really quickly, and off it goes, moving out the station. At the moment, the layout ends here at the White Horse Pub, which is still standing 60 years later. The Model Railway Club of London plan to continue their work until it's seven metres wide and King's Cross Station itself is included in it. Now, that could take another five years. One sad thing is that perhaps the most impressive building in the model, St Mary's Church, isn't there anymore. It was demolished early in the 1980s. Okay. Isn't it wonderful? It's event? wonderful. I could just look at it forever, even little people and benches and I love the and tram, the tram is yeah. the best, I love it, it's great. Well, if you want to see this layout, you can if you come into London over Easter. From Saturday until next Thursday, it'll be at the Model Railway Exhibition at the Royal Horticultural Hall in Westminster. It costs £2 for children and it's cheaper on Sundays and Thursdays, but if you wear your Blue Peter badge, it's free all the time. That's not the only Model Railway Exhibition around this weekend. The biggest scenic layout in Europe Europe, which I had a preview of some weeks ago, is now finished and open to the public. It's at the Trago Mill Shopping Centre in Newton Abbott in Devon. Now this layout costs just 50 pence for children and once again the badge gets you in absolutely free.